PSA return number five. One, two, three, four, five, everybody. I'm just kidding. Hey, all right. So Pikachu fans, Charizard fans, you're going to like this one. There's the Pikachu stack or there's the Charizard stack. So let's see here. Per usual, uh, I had to re-put these all in order. And because, you know, PSA likes to get it all out of order for you. Um, but yeah, so when you're looking at these, when we're, when we're going through this, per usual, look at the uh, serial number right there. See that serial number? So all my PSA returns, I do everything in order because I submit them with a purpose in a certain order uh, with themes, stuff like that. So yeah, so every time you watch one of my returns, just pay attention to the serial number. And then also you should probably look at the serial number when you watch other returns because if uh, the serial numbers aren't lined up, you can manipulate your return results, you know, any way you want to. So you look for that. Uh, let's see, before we begin, what else? So my last video, uh, let's see here, what was it called? It was called uh, Pokemon PSA Tips and Tricks, How to Get a 10. So I did myself a serious disservice by acting like a wise guy and uh, uploading a I know what I'm doing type of video. And then, you know, had no idea what these results were going to be. So yeah, that was a pretty nerve wracking couple of days until I got the email about these guys. Um, but yeah, I literally, I got the email and I pulled over on the side of the road. I was about to throw up and then, yeah, I saw the results and I was like, all right, we're good. I guess I do kind of know what I'm doing. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know these results and yeah, or at least some of them, but yeah, anyway, so let's get going. I'll try to educate. I wrote notes down like I usually do. Let's just do this. Okay. So first off, we got a hidden fate reverse foil Pikachu crazy they call it reverse foil you know it's kind of reverse hollow more referred to foils and other types of tcgs we got what is this the 2022 promo box pikachu pikachu v promo zelda zelda no now is not the time to start barking as soon as i start a youtube upload literally for an hour she's quiet zelda all right that's what i thought okay i got a cute little australian shepherd uh, Crown Zenith, it's one of the GGs. Beautiful. So this goes with this guy, the secret rare, whatever. They don't actually notate that it's a secret rare. So if you look, look down there, it's 160 out of 159. So technically up here, it should say secret rare. I guess they messed up on that. Maybe it's because they're actually not so secret because everyone has one. <laughs> But seriously, it's 160 out of 159. They messed up. Here, I'm going to try to... Oh, hold on a sec. I don't want to mess these up. i got to list these right after. So, uh, I'm not like a YouTuber or anything. I just make YouTube videos. I'm a guy who owns an eBay store. Um, so, all this stuff you see is going to be listed. You can buy it. The reason you should buy it is because I do a lot of sequential grades. Like, I'll show you... Oh, yeah. Let's give an example right here. So, here's your two hits from... Crown Zenith, right? So 28, 29. If you're trying to buy Gem Mint 10s, you can buy any Gem Mint 10, and it's no different from any other, or you can buy Gem Mint 10 sequential pairings, uh, you know, in either promos or sets, whatever whatever kind of pairing makes sense. So, uh, yeah, so I'll probably list these. I don't know. I might keep these. Well, I guess we'll find out later. Uh, let's see, 27. So 28, 29. Okay. Well, here's just a nine, one of the few nines I got in this sub. That's cool. That'll definitely sell, obviously, because I have tens. All right, so coming up here, now this is the first ever graded of these. These just came out, what, like a month ago? So, yeah. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but yeah. So that's from the Pikachu V V Max box that just came out. Crown Zenith. They're everywhere still. Gem at 10. Whee! And what is this? Just another one, two in a row? Okay, so 32. I swear I have. Huh, whatever. I have the Pikachu V, the other guy that's next to him in the promo box somewhere in here. 
Oh, here's the Koro Koro. All right, look at that. Got a nine, but that's fine because I'm happy, super happy with the nine. Look at that. See that like scuff? Here, let's see if I can zoom it in. On that corner, there's that little white kind of abrasion-y looking stuff. Here, just the way it was printed. But that's the only thing wrong with the card. So got a nine and very happy with that. Looks so cool. So cool. That's Core Core Comics. Japanese 2022. Sure. Is there anything I'm supposed to tell you about those? No. Where's that? Oh, it's down here. Okay, here it is. Here they are. All right. So look, this is that box. There it is. Or maybe they're like this. I think they're actually like that in the box. But yeah. So back there is first ever that graded. Here's first ever sequential pair graded. Da -da -da. Maybe I'll just keep these and then I'll sell like all those. I don't know. We'll find out. But yeah, pretty cool, right? Don't go buy one of those boxes at GameStop. Just just buy this for me. <laughs> Way cooler, right? Okay, just kidding. Do whatever you want. What is this? Another one? There's another one. Look how cool they are. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here you go. This is why I did this one, so I could pair it with this. Yeah, yeah. Fatty Pikachus, Chubby Peaks. Chubby Cheeks, Chubby Peaks. <laughs> 35, 36, 37. Oh, and then I did both sides in case, in case, uh, so when I sequentially grade, I try to give myself as many chances for sequential pairings as possible. So in this sub, it was like I could pair these two and hopefully these get a 10. Or if the Mew doesn't get a 10, I could at least pair it with this one. And they all got a 10, so I guess it worked out. <laughs> Definitely worked out. All right, now we're so that was the Pikachu stack. Let's move that along. Flip my page over, go over here to Charizards. All the Charizards, Charizard. Are you guys pumped for? Oh, by the way, speaking of Charizard, he's cool, but like Rayquaza is one of my favorite. And is it just me or is Mariah on like the new Rayquaza, the purple Rayquaza? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, here we go. Okay. All right. Sorry. I'm just looking at some. Okay. So, Japanese VMAX Climax, uh, just hollow Charizard. Super common. But I got it in a 10. Yeah, yeah. It looks so cool. Anytime you see Charizard in the OG kind of looking artwork, that's the best Charizard. And I got some Crown Zenith Radiance. I already got a bunch of these V Stars graded a while ago. Look at that Radiant Radiation. Radiation. Don't get poisoned. Sorry. Here, look. Let's do it like this. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys excited for the Mario movie coming out next week? I don't know why I just thought of that. I'm excited. Oh, by the way, so I do a lot of vintage Nintendo Mario stuff, too, on that eBay store. And I got a ton of Nintendo sticker cards, like Mario sticker cards or scratch-off cards. I'm basically listing all of them same week as the movie. Wonder why. All right, so Brilliant Star Charizard V is nice. Um, all your V cards, obviously, we all know V cards aren't worth that much, um, but they are in a ten. And what do I mean by that? I mean um, popular Pokemon on a slab that says ten on it doesn't really matter what the card is. Someone will pay forty or fifty bucks for it. It's as simple as that. You can look up market averages. You can go out of your way to say no it's worth less but pretty much any pokemon card doesn't matter what the rarity is if it's a beautiful artwork and it's put in a beautiful slab with a 10 on it you can uh very easily sell it for you know double triple your money and that is the beauty of pokemon cards compared to like sports cards and other stupid cards all right so 4443 that means that one's 4444 mm -hmm. all right so gosh i love these artworks Lost Origin, Trainer Galleries, so good. All right, so here we got a just a bunch of uh, UPCs, and including a sequentially graded Gem Mint 10 set. I think one I purposely did because I had an OC9, and OC9 is way more rare than Gem Mint 10. 
Um, so there's a few a few different examples. So what that's a 10, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. I love that. That's so cool. Let's see what Charizard's at. Yep, okay. 4, 4, 4, 5. I sold a uh I'll show you this exact card just a couple weeks ago for like $130, not in a 10. So there it is. See it? And then see down there? Let's see if we can focus on it. Right down in that bottom left corner, there's a tiny little black dot right there. It's called an alignment dot. So starting back in November, something like that, PSA decided for all OC grades, it's pretty simple. It's either it has an alignment dot present, either on the front or the back. I think this one's alignment dot is only visible right there in that corner. Um, but if it doesn't have an alignment dot, it's not going to get an OC grade. If it does, it it will. So, so there you go. So Ultra Premium Collection 9 OC. And just to give you an idea why that matters. So like I just said, like I sold this exact card on eBay, I think three weeks ago, to some dude in Japan for like 130, 140 bucks. Uh, and that's when this card in a Gem Mint 10 was going for like a little less than that, like 120, 110. And right now, this card in a Gem Mint 10 is floating around 100 bucks even, whereas this I can still sell for 130 or 140 or something better. Uh, so yeah, it's probably not though. I mean, I'm probably going to keep it because I sold the last one. Ew, gross. The worst card in the submission. But here's the worst part. There's another alignment dot right there. And that's here. Let's see if we can actually see it. Yeah, there it is. Little black alignment dot. There's a whole reason I sent this in. So this should be a 9 OC. I don't know why he saw it on this one, especially because it's in the same corner. And I, I think I wrote OC uh, and I point or something like that when I submit them. You're not supposed to. And they say it doesn't matter. All that matters is if the dot is present. Well, guess what? There's the dot. Here, let's see if you can really see it. Focus. Focus camera. No, you can't see it. I can see it. I swear I, I can see it. It's there. Trust me. All right. Anyway, should have been 9 OC. I'll probably uh, think about that. So here's some more tips. I think this is a 9 OC. I see the alignment black dot in the bottom corner, which, by the way, you can see way better off camera. Um, so I can sell this right now for 40 bucks, maybe 40. Yeah, 40, maybe. Maybe 40. <laughs> or I can like pay another 15 via accidentally dropping it and the card falls out. Um, and go for the OC grade again. And I think this is an error. It should have been an OC because there is an alignment dot right there. So I, I, I wouldn't feel bad about breaking this out and uh, resubmitting it. Oh, man. Here's a 10. 4448. So somewhere in the back. So we already had a straight set of 10s with the exception of the 9 OC, which is even better. I think this is a 10 set coming up here. Maybe not. So that was 40. Oh, here it is. That is the Gemint 10 set. So 48, 49, 50. Let me show you. That's pretty freaking cool. So uh, 48, 49, 50. Maybe this is the set that I'll keep. 48, 49, 50. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'll sell the OC set. I'll regrade the other one. If that comes back OC, I'll keep that in the future. And I'll keep these three as my one sequential set. And then I'll try to get you guys another set that's one of you guys can buy, I guess. Because, yeah, as long as these uh, Charizard UPC boxes are only $100, or, you know, because they're 120 or 100 But if you can get it for 100 there's so much value in there, especially if you're a grader. Like, I sell Charizards all day long. Uh, Easily, like here's another 10. This is uh, kind of cool. A nine. All right, so this is one of the only nines, also. There was one eight, which should have been a nine, OC, and then a couple of nines. Everything else in the sub was a 10. That's crazy. All right, so that's it. So, what else, real quick, coming up? More themes on the way. What do we got? We got wave, <laughs> we got waifus. Waifus. I say waifus, but it's waifus, whatever. Um, so yeah, let's see here. What I write, I wrote 
Next, waifus, crown zenith, heavy hitters. Oh, so I got like Giratina, V Star, uh, just Pika, and Chawizad. Thank you. That's what I wrote on the comments. That's funny. See, that's why I get the tens. I'm funny when I, in the comment section, and I'm nice. Uh, potentially rare. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm right on I'm right on cried on other promos. Okay, so yeah, I got some pretty cool uh, future stuff coming. But yeah, um, what is the future stuff? Okay, so I have an evolution card that's about was it ten years old now, and it's. I'm not. I'm not obviously not going to tell you guys what it is because I haven't got the grade back yet, and I don't want a million people to just go rush to find them and just kill my chances at the first ever ten. Um, but if it does get a gem in ten, this this uh, evolution card will be the first ever gem in ten, and it's a beautiful card. And I've already confirmed that the source that you get the card from is literally unavailable on the internet. So yeah, and I bought up all the extras, so I'm kind of <laughs> anyway really excited about that one. And then the Mariadon and Cryodon promos that just came out, Scarlet and Violet. Uh, if you follow me on um, anywhere else or have watched, you probably already saw me you saw me show off all the promos I got. So yeah, there'll be a bunch of uh, sequentially graded Gem Mint 10 Mariadon Cryodon promo sets available in the near future for you guys to buy. Uh, so that's cool. Other than that, uh, Pokedan.tcg signing out. See ya!